Good afternoon, everyone. It looks like we are live and ready to go. It's been a minute since I've streamed on the uh, regular channels that I stream on, but I am happy to have you all here today watching live. Uh, and for those of you who are watching the replay, thanks for watching the replay as well. Uh, my name is Terry White, Worldwide Design and Photography Evangelist for Adobe, and it's my pleasure to be streaming to you live here on all my platforms. I'm, I'm kind of doing a test as we speak. Uh, but it's great to see so many of you on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, like I'm kind of doing the whole gamut today. <laughs> so uh, with that said, let me just get one window up here. We're just going to do a quick stream on something I'm kind of excited about uh, since I dabble in video, but I also love photography. We're going to be taking a look at uh, something that is new inside of um, Premiere Rush, which is kind of the video editing tool for... Uh, vloggers for people that don't necessarily need all the power of Premiere Pro but they kind of want a, a easier tool to get started with and that's kind of what we're going to be doing today but let me just go ahead and get one more window going here if I can find it if I can't I won't worry about it and then we can uh, dive in so I see some folks uh, joining already on Facebook on the Creative Cloud channel uh, Michael Jose uh, is that Libby um, Sean, Victoria, welcome. Thanks for all being here. And if I can just find one more thing. If not, we will live without it. All right. There it is. Okay, I found it. Okay, cool. All right, so Premiere Rush is available on uh, your desktop and on, I believe, on Android and on iOS. The new features that I'm about to show you are features that are in progress, but they, they're first appearing on iPad. So they'll make their way over to the other platforms. But in the meantime, they're here available to us to use, not in beta, release versions, here on iPad. And I'm going to show, I, I kind of alluded to one of them in the title of this broadcast, which is how to make your photos move. And that is the new pan and zoom feature. It's, it's one of the highly requested features. Even Premiere Pro doesn't have this. It doesn't have an, a, a one-click button to do this. You can, of course, do it manually, but it doesn't have that one-click ease of use. Um, and this feature will make its way into the desktop version. This feature will make its way into all the versions of Premiere Rush. Um, but for those of you who are unfamiliar with Premiere Rush, it is uh, here. If we head over to, before I bring up my uh, laptop here or my computer here, we head over to... The Creative Cloud app, there we go, and we head over to video, you'll see that it's it's prominently listed as a video app. So it is under under the video category in your Creative Cloud um, applications under video. Uh, you have Premiere Pro, Premiere Rush, After Effects, Animate, so forth and so on. So Premiere Rush is the only video tool from Adobe that is available both on desktop and on mobile. So we're going to be taking a look at it today on mobile. But the other thing that you should know about is that where, wherever you start your project, it doesn't matter if you start uh, on mobile or if you start on the desktop, uh, the projects sync. So you could shoot a video with your phone, start working on it, so start putting it together, and then say, well, you know, I want to finish it on a bigger screen on my iPad or finish it on a bigger, even a bigger screen on your desktop. So you could go either way. The other thing I want to uh, call out is that if you want features sooner rather than later, there is a beta apps category right here. And Premiere Rush is in that beta apps category. So if you want to download the beta, even as a regular user, you can go to your beta apps and go download Premiere Rush. It's a public beta and you can start to get features sooner than they're released. So you can start testing and giving feedback as well. So just remember that you have the choice of doing that. Now, we're going to head over to my iPad, where I'm going to show you these features. Uh, let's go ahead and head over to my iPad. There we go. I've got my iPad kind of ready to go. Um, and we're going to go ahead and dive in. Uh, thanks, Dave and Philip, for being here on LinkedIn as well. And also thanks for Rudolph for being on my Behance. And, of course, uh, uh, John and 
uh, it's a it's Lacey uh, on uh, YouTube. So with and I see some folks on on Twitter as well. But anyway, let's go ahead and dive in. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Premiere Rush, and Premiere Rush comes up and it's going to show me my existing projects, projects I've worked on, projects I've been testing, and uh, just projects I, I can go ahead and do. And like, like some of these I didn't create on the iPad. Some of these I created on my phone. Some of these I created in a desktop version, and they all came over and synced. So I'm going to go ahead on the very bottom, there's a plus sign and I'm just going to go ahead and tap the plus sign to create a new project. So add, you can create your new project either by shooting video directly on your device, if you're on your iPad or, or phone, um, or you can um, add media. So media that you've already photographed or you've already shot with your camera or you've already edited in Photoshop, whatever it is. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and tap the add media category. Now, before I dive in and go to my Creative Cloud folder here and grab the media I want, the first thing you want to do is you want to know that you can go ahead and put in the name of your project. And I always forget to do this. So I like all my projects always say untitled because I forget to do it. So I'm going to say I'm just going to call this one Make Photos Move. All right. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go into um, my Creative Cloud folder. I've got a demo folder. I've got a Premiere Rush folder. There it is. And in that folder, I've got some photos and I've got a video. I got a special treat at the end. I'm going to show you with video. Uh, but let's go ahead and just grab a few photos first. So let's just grab that one, that one, that one, that one. And you could you could pick, you don't have to pick them in order. And by the way, the order that you pick them in is the order they will come in at. So you see it says one, two, three, five, four. So you can actually start the editing process by putting the photos in the order you want them in up front. So if I said, no, I don't want that one uh, to be fifth, I want, and I don't want that one to be fourth, I want this one to be fourth, and I want that one to be fifth, you can put them in the order you want. So that way you're already kind of starting the editing process just by putting the photos in the order you want. I'm just going to do four for now. Now let's go ahead and hit create. And that will give me a timeline automatically and it will automatically put the photos in there and they're all ready to go. I don't have to do anything else. That's the thing we love about um, Premiere Rush. I'm also going to show my live preview, which normally would be on by default, but because I'm sharing this on my video system, uh, it, it, turns the, it turns the preview off by default. But you guys would have your preview. So now, if as you would expect, it created a photo frame for each one on the timeline. And it, um, what else did it do? It, uh, it, it made them a default length. They're probably like five seconds each. And of course, you can make them shorter. You can make them longer. You can make them whatever you want. You can have the photos just by dragging them. Uh, you can trim them or make them or expand them out to make them stay on screen as long as you want them to. So when I hit play, it plays that first static photo a little longer than the other three because I made that one a little longer. And here's the problem with photos in a video is that they're they're just kind of static. They're boring. They just well, they're, they're just not exciting. I won't call them boring. They're not exciting because they just sit there and it's almost like a slideshow. It's just not doing anything. So one of the most requested features is that people want their, if they're going to use photos in Rush, you want them to be able to move. Now in Premiere Pro, you can do that. You can keyframe photos. You can make them grow, small, spin, twist, fade in, fade out. And you can put transitions between these two as well. As these as well. But before this update, there was no ability to, um, to keyframe anything, keyframe photos or videos in Rush. Uh, but now we have a brand new effects tab. So I just tapped it in the upper right hand corner there. And you'll notice that there is a pan and zoom on off. Um, and when I tap it on, it uses Adobe Sensei to figure out the region of interest in the photo to know what to zoom in on. And unfortunately, in this first rev of this, you have to do them one by one. There is no multiple select. Um, on the iPad version. On the desktop version, there is. <laughs> so when this feature appears on the desktop, you can just marquee select 100 photos, tap it once, and turn on pan and zoom. I hope they will build in a way to do that on the iPad, because it is kind of a pain if you especially have like 50 photos, tap, 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 tap 50 times. Or that would be 100 times, because <laughs> you have to select it first before you can turn it, turn it on. 
Um, and um, hopefully that they will give us an ability to do that. Now also coming in pan and zoom are some more controls. So you'll notice that there's a twirl down already there. It doesn't have anything in it yet. <laughs> there's a twirl down for pan and zoom that doesn't show anything. That lets me know something else is coming. They built the interface to be able to turn it down to show you more options. Uh, they just don't have them yet. So all I can do at this point in this first rev of this feature on the iPad is just simply turn it on. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just hit simply hit play. And now my photos are moving. And by the way, I can hide that uh, the tab and now my photos are moving without me having to do anything. It just figured it out. Now you can also go in and you can now pick up the photo. You can double tap, you can move it around. This is something also you weren't really able to do uh, with photos before. So you can kind of change the way it's going to look or the position, I should say the position in the frame itself. So first new feature, you can make your photos move with pan and zoom in Premiere Rush today on iPad, coming soon to the rest of the platforms that Premiere Rush is on. Next up, this is something that I also have been waiting for, because when you're making video now, you're typically making it for, um, you're typically making it for a platform, like you're making it for YouTube, or you're making it for uh, Instagram, or social media, or whatever. Well, that means that a video on YouTube I typically want in wide format, but a video on Instagram I typically want in tall format for people to watch on their phones. That creates a problem because typically if you shot a video in one way or the other, that's going to determine really what, what, what the region of interest is and, and how the video is going to look. So for example, let's say I go ahead and add in uh, another piece of media. I'm going to add in from my Creative Cloud uh, in that same demo folder, in that same Premiere Rush folder. I'm going to add that video in now. So I have a video. We'll bring that video in. This, now this video came from Adobe Stock. Uh, I did not shoot this. But it's a, it's, a, it's a couple skateboarders. And let's play it and let's see what it looks like. Now the problem with this, it looks great in landscape. And the, the, the kids are going back and forth across the frame and they're like doing cool moves and all that. Great for landscape. But imagine if this video were turned or the, the aspect ratio were turned and it was shot portrait. Not shot portrait, but you turned it portrait. The problem with that is the skaters would not be in the frame anymore. So let's go ahead and go back to the beginning of this. And let's go ahead and turn this video to, instead of 16 by 9, which is what we were viewing, let's turn it to 9 by 16. And you're going to see the problem right off the bat. When I hit play, skater skates in and out of the frame completely. They're gone. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's gone. That gets kind of annoying really quick. <laughs> so that problem is the problem we've had since day one when you try and make a video work on multiple platforms. I need a wide video for Facebook and YouTube. I need a skinny or tall video for Instagram or, or uh, TikTok or whatever. Uh, and I don't wanna have to shoot it twice because I, I, maybe I got the perfect moment when it was wide. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into my uh, effects panel. I have that clip selected and there is the brand new auto reframe. So I'm just going to turn on auto reframe. Premiere Pro, or I'm sorry, Premiere Rush. This is also in Premiere Pro. It was in Premiere Pro first. But Premiere Rush will figure out what the region of interest is and automatically make the video work in the new format. So I'm just going to play back the same video now. Watch the skaters. Stays in the frame because auto reframe is constantly moving the frame back and forth to keep the action in focus. So auto reframe is now going to empower us for the first time to take video that was shot one way, turn the format to a different way, make it square, make it tall, make it wide, whatever, and then hit auto reframe to make the video work inside of that, um, inside of that, uh, 
uh, that frame. Okay, so here is an amazing capability that I hope you guys will have fun with. And again, this is available on iPad today. Just go to the App Store, download it, start playing with it. And you have Pan and Zoom, more to come. Auto Reframe, yay, been waiting for that since we saw it in Premiere Pro about a year ago. And finally, we, we got it on the iPad. And like I said, hopefully, we'll see it soon on the other platforms. Hmm, soon. You never know when that might be. All right, <laughs> so with that said, thanks everyone for joining me. Uh, this, like I said, was a quick stream. I just wanted to show you I was excited about those two new features. Go check them out in Premiere Rush on iPad today. And go download the beta if you want to play with it on desktop uh, today and see what's coming on desktop. But with that said, cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, everybody. Have a good one.